Are you wondering what topics are coming this year in the biology and human and social biology exams? Well, in this video, I will be sharing my predictions for the May-June 2022 exams for both CSET biology and human and social biology. So if you're interested in finding out what I think may possibly come, keep watching. Okay, first let me give you my personal advice for preparing for your upcoming exams. If you're struggling in your revision, especially now with limited time left, the best study tool for you is past paper solutions. Just having the past papers is fine, but having video solutions with comprehensive explanations is so much better. With these videos, not only will you have a better understanding of the format of the exam paper, you'll actually get to review the various topics on the syllabus which are covered in the different questions that come throughout the years. And with my guidance in each video, you'll learn exactly how to properly answer these questions. So I honestly believe that past paper solutions are what you need right now. And if by chance you have a little more spare time on your schedule to get more studying done, I would also recommend my full course which not only includes past paper solutions, but easy to read notes for all the topics on the syllabus, video tutorials, and practice tests. So trust me, take the stress out of your exam prep and study the easy way with my online courses. And if you are still unsure about it, here's proof that my courses really help students ace their exams. Okay, with all of that being said, now let's get into the actual predictions. So, disclaimer first of all, I am not a part of the CSC examinations development and production team, so I do not know what topics are coming on the exam. These predictions are just based on my personal feelings after observing certain trends from a number of past papers and also noticing that certain topics have not come in a while. So please, please aim to study all topics on the syllabus to prepare for your exams. Okay, let's get into it. So let's look at the CSET biology first. Okay, so I believe that we may have a question on ecological sampling, so sampling methods, um, some kind of study on ecology. And then also associated to that question, you may have something related to human activities and how they affect the environment. And then possibly a question on transporting plants. So looking at the structures responsible for transporting materials in plants. So we're talking like the xylem, the phloem, and then um, transpiration, perhaps like an investigation on transpiration. So that is my feeling for the first question. Secondly, I believe something on human nutrition would come. So food tests, digestion, enzymes possibly. Thirdly, reproduction, uh, whether it's a male or female reproductive system and it may possibly bring a menstrual cycle. I haven't seen that in a while. So something related to the topic of reproduction. Fourthly, a structure. So this is usually a common topic that comes over the years, but I haven't seen it. I don't believe I've seen it in the last paper, the last two papers. So perhaps something about labeling the eye, 
maybe the functions of the eye, accommodation, sight defects, and then associated to that, they could pop in a genetic cross um, related to color blindness, so that will be a sex link cross. And then for the fifth question, it could possibly be something on diseases. So diseases, immunity, how vaccines work, anything along that lines. And then finally, genetic engineering, cell division, so either mitosis or meiosis, and variation. So something genetic related. So that's something from uh, a topic from section C. So something for sure would come from section C because they would usually try to include topics from each section on the syllabus. Okay, so that's the CSET biology predictions. Let's go on to look at the human and social biology predictions. So I think that we're going to have a question related to nutrition. Nutrition, I find, is a popular topic on the HSB papers. Um, so something perhaps about the balanced diet. And then considering that we are going based off of the new updated syllabus, so we have some new topics now to consider. So hidden sources of salts and sugars, that was one of the objectives on the new syllabus. So perhaps you can think that some of these new topics included could possibly come in this year's paper. So balanced diet, hidden sources of salt or sugars, perhaps food tests, something related to digestion. So that whole nutrition, you know, section, anything on nutrition. And then the respiratory system. So maybe labeling the respiratory system, breathing, effects of smoking. And this is also where they slipped in some additional objectives, different alternatives to cigarette smoking. And then possibly CPR, you know, mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, anything along that lines. So then I also believe we might possibly get a question on excretion, homeostasis, ADH, osmoregulation, anything along that, that line. So this seemed to be a, a pretty popular topic throughout the years as well. So with excretion, it might be the different types of excretory organs. Um, they may focus on the kidneys, how urine is made, the structure of the nephron, so anything related to that. And then we have the nervous system. I haven't seen I haven't seen topics on the nervous system come on the paper in a while. So nervous system, reflex pathways, synapses, structure of the brain, and then possibly the endocrine system. So maybe like labeling the endocrine glands and talking about the hormones released from these glands. And they may also they could also bring a comparison between the nervous system and the endocrine system, like how they work. So that's my feeling on that type of question. And up next, we, we could possibly get a disease question. Disease is a pretty common topic on the papers. So it could be non-communicable diseases such as diabetes, hypertension, perhaps heart disease, and possibly a vector related question whether it is so like mosquitoes or rats and leptospirosis so anything along those lines and then possibly immunity and I'm going to squeeze in pollution so different types of pollution there and then finally perhaps it may bring something on the circulatory system so the components of the blood and then connected closely to that would be looking at ABO blood group. So this would actually be a genetic cross. So you're going to get a bit of um, section C in there. So ABO blood groups and how you perform those crosses. And then a new topic would be the rhesus factor and how that is important to check during pregnancy. So you're going to have some link between that and pregnancy. So those are just my feelings on the topics that can come on the HSB paper. Your success depends on your effort.
So you really need to put in the effort, put in the revision, and do your best. So I'm wishing you all the best in your upcoming exams.